Thanksgiving father's plea to drivers after his two-year-old son was hit and killed by a car. Family members say the child was with his mother in the driveway when he ran from her and right into the street. Well, now the two-year-old's dad is speaking out so other parents do not have to experience his same pain. Fox 5's Laura Neal spoke with the family about the toddler's life as well as their devastating loss. I, I couldn't get outside fast enough. As soon as I, I ran outside, I seen him in the street, I knew he would go. Kenyon Spence says his wife was taking groceries out of the car on their driveway around 10 Friday night when their son got away from her and down the driveway. You can see the skid mark. Oh my God, yeah. You can see where he hit him at. You can see where he laid in bed. Spence says these skid marks will haunt him for as long as they lay outside of his driveway. DeKalb County Police tell us the boy was taken to a local hospital and pronounced dead. The woman who hit the boy stayed at the scene and cooperated with police. She was not charged. Spence says the woman was devastated about what had happened to his son. Although the speed limit says 35, many drivers go much faster on the two-lane street. Neighbors say with two MARTA bus stops in this stretch, many people become impatient and will illegally pass those buses. Please slow down. It's, it could have been your child, but it was mine. Family gathered to comfort the parents over the weekend. Everyone we spoke to had nothing but the sweetest things to say about the little boy whose life ended far too soon. Happy baby, ball full of energy, fight, fight. I hung his boxing gloves up. My little champ. My little champ. Grish Park rap, the champ for life. Laura Neal, Fox 5 News.